Hello and welcome on this September 17th, I think. <laughs> Actually, not sure, yeah. 17th of September, and we are on with a brand new live stream, taking a look and the first hands on. Okay, for me, it's my second hands on. Uh, Orchestral Tools Time Macro has just been released yesterday. The library is still on intro pricing for, I think, 199 euros. And the library, where is it? There we go. So there we have the beauty. Yeah, 199 intro pricing. I'm not really sure how long the intro pricing lasts. I know that they extended the intro pricing period. So if you are still on the fans, either you can win a copy of the library today. Thanks for the kind donation or kind kind giveaway that Orchestral Tools has set up us with. So we will talk about that in a minute, how you can get your hands on the library or you just head over to their page and can buy it there. The link is posted underneath the YouTube video. And yeah, let's dive straight in. Hi guys, so we should be live and in color on YouTube and Twitch at the same time. So this is working good. So awesome. There we go. Let's empty this slate here and uh, Time Micro is their follow up to their Time Macro that they released before. And um, yeah, what can I say? Uh, I've been waiting for this library quite a while <laughs> because I knew there was one works when I met uh, Orchestra Tools back in August in Berlin. Um, so anyway, let's load this up and dive straight in. Let's take a look at some of the patches. There are numerous walkthroughs out there already that take a deep look into the patches and what's included in the content. So I may shorten the initial instrument overview a little bit today to uh, jump straight into using the library. But still, I want to kind of show some of the stuff that is in there. Uh, I may be biased, but this thing is utterly beautiful. One of the best libraries of this year, I would say. But we sum that up by the end of the stream. Uh, before we jump in, one last note on the giveaway today. So if you leave a comment on this Facebook post right here that I'm posting in the chat right now, and it's also uh, linked underneath the YouTube video, uh, you can leave a comment on this Facebook post and at the end of the stream, this is what it's going to look like. At the end of the stream, we will use a random comment picker uh, to choose one commenter and get him a free copy of uh, time micro back to topic if you have any questions please feel free to leave them in the chat on twitch and youtube and now let's just dive straight in so time micro comes installed on a whopping i think 52 gigabytes so it's pretty extensive and sorry coffee this is what you get you have multi instruments so um for those of you who are not familiar with it that means key switchable instruments where you have all the different <coughs> articulations laid out uh, via key switches on the keyboard and you can switch through with key switches uh, we have string ensemble, string quartet, bass ensemble, mixed choir, harp celeste, mandolin, high strings, low strings. So that's the same as the string ensemble, but uh, split out. A bunch of brass, flugelhorn, bass trumpet, cornet multi, tenor trombone, 
bunch of woodwinds, alto flute, bass flute, oboes, uh, bass oboes, basset horn, contrabass, contrabass clarinet, and two choir patches. The whole concept of time micro, and that's why it's called micro, I think, um, is that the section sizes are way smaller. Hey Joe, nice to see you around and congrats on releasing your latest album. I haven't had the chance to listen to it, but the teasers look great already and uh, looking forward to hearing that. So congrats on the release. Um, Multi-instruments are the key switch instruments. Then you have the single instruments uh, that contain a bunch of more sound design presets as well as the same that you have in the multi-articulations but with single instruments per articulation. And last but not least, there are the time machine patches that honestly I haven't been using that much. Uh, they just allow you to time stretch uh, various articulations. If you, for example, have like these pendulum swells, whoop, uh, that was a nice sound there, <laughs> then you can uh, shorten or lengthen the duration of the sample with the time machine patches. I didn't see a need for that right now, but maybe if we do, we can look into that later. Let's start with a time orchestra, the first patches that greet you when you open up and fire up the library. This is what it sounds like. So these patches, they sound like multis, but they're, yeah, kind of, uh, there's a lot of stuff going on under the hood where they blend uh, strings, brass, all the sounds from the library into multi-patches that play at the same time. That was just one patch. So next one, let's listen to some of these. Wildlife Awakens. These patches rely heavily on the use of mod wheel, so you definitely need some kind of controller to uh, control this uh, crossfade here. If you don't have a mod wheel, maybe you have a phone where you can install uh, touch OC or something, uh, set up virtual faders, or uh, ideally get something where you can move a knob or a fader, because this library definitely needs it. You can, of course, draw that afterwards, uh, in your DAW, but it's not the same fun like doing it live. And uh, there's not much to say about the interface itself. It's the usual orchestral tools. Um, what do they call it? Uh, the uh, capsule, capsule system. You have various mic positions in this uh, whole library. Some patches more. Uh, I think some patches have five mic positions. But let's listen to that same patch just with the closed mics. If one word should describe what these patches are, for me it is 
like life. It lives. There is so much movement in these patches. This is incredible. That's pretty great. Um, call for Adenality. Which territory might that be? <laughs> Nothing because I had the wrong key range. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> that is just one freaking patch. This is crazy. Awesome. Gleam. Let's listen to Gleam. <sighs> I could play this all day. <laughs> this is just great. Glimmer. Wow, that's nice. Okay, Time Orchestra. There's a bunch of more patches. We don't go through every single one of these uh, due to time restraints. I just want to work with this beauty, to be honest. Uh, nevertheless, Altered Time is like uh, the same source material, but uh, processed and uh, sound designed. But it still sounds very organic. Hmm. Out of space. So the next space album is coming along the way. Getting close to synthesized territory there. Parallel reflections. Isn't that great? <laughs> when the truck outside backing up has the same key as what you're playing? Really cool. Uh, so yeah, a bunch of, let's take another one just for a last spin here. Wow. So let's dive straight in into what we have here. We have the string ensemble. Actually, let's load the multi and uh, jump through some of these patches. So it starts with um, Soltasto Sustain. By the way, in case you're asking, the sounds are completely unprocessed, out of the box, no reverb added, etc. So this is really what you get. That sounds nice. Then we have uh, Sulpont, played close to the bridge.
which creates this scratchy sound. Very unsettling. Nice one. Next one, uh, random vibrato. Would it be possible with a little more volume from the sounds and less from the mic? Well, let's keep the mic as it is, but raise the sounds a little bit. Hope that's better. To be honest, a bunch of these sounds are very quiet, like the, the Sultasto patches, etc. But we are getting into louder territory soon. Colenio Trado, that's another one of these sounds that's really, really quiet. But beautiful, utterly beautiful. Spiccato stuttering. As I said, all these patches heavily rely on the use of mod wheel. That's just amazing. Uh, fifth drops. The whole concept is time and uh, movement and evolution. So you have a lot of random movement in the patches. That is not necessarily controllable, but it's more to create an atmosphere, like like a layer uh, underneath, for example, your existing composition, to just create a little bit more life in the samples. So when you, for example, combine this with, um, let's load that again combine I mean I have the same patch now but when you combine a uh, regular sustain patch with these movement patches bring that down a little bit just to create a little bit of movement inside of a of a chord for example That's pretty cool. Then we have very slow tremolo. The patches are also, besides the fact that there's movement in there, are extremely playable. That's another really cool thing. Harmonics, then we have harmonic tremolos. This is so cool. Irregular arps, same thing, they are not kind of tempo synced. I mean, you gotta be careful with what you play. You can't play like a triad with these chords because then you get a bunch of strange uh, intervals. But uh, if you play fifth and fourth, you should be good. Irregular ups two. And last but not least, the Clockwork 8th. And this is something where this library really shines, in my opinion. Uh, clockwork is... Uh... If 
you play in time, you can even do create like intricate rhythms. It just sounds beautiful. Um, string quartet. This is great stuff for layering uh, with other string samples, but also on its own. It's a string quartet, uh, sustained, non-vibrato. Then we have a uh, color sustain SV, slow vibrato, I guess. Then we have detaché texture. Etc. Etc. There's so much stuff. I can't go into every single patch here, but and the Clockworks Spiccato. I like these. They kind of lay over. They start with eights, then layer with triplets, and in the highest uh, mod we arrange. 16th come on top. is plain fun. Um, jumping into the next one, bass ensemble multi. This is like, I think two woodwinds and one contra bass. Loving the stream so far. Thank you so much. Me too. For <laughs> mainly, I love the library. It just sounds amazing. So that's the bass ensemble. Um, then we have individual section. Let's look at some of the, um, oh, we were at the multi, sorry. Uh, at some of the brass that is included, the flugelhorn. Regular fifth. And then the clockwork. And a lot of these instruments have like eighth triplets and sixteenth notes as clockworks.
and obviously these are tempo synced, so you can also, well, don't go too crazy there. I think this is coming in pretty useful in the future. Let's, last but not least, take a look at the choir section, for example. They have, I think, three male and three female singers. With the upcoming Christmas season, I can see a lot of use for, for these batches. Swells at Libidum. This alone creates so much life underneath any other type of chords where you just play simple sustain chords. I love the concept of that library. Sus U at Libidum. Overtone. Irregular fifth. And you even have clockwork patches with the voices. This is fun. So what else do we have? We have uh, obviously there's separate. Let's take a look at the contra bass clarinet. What does that sound like? A very farty instrument. <laughs> Why well, is it not changing? It should be tempo synced. Hey Ram, I just played your arrival sound. <laughs> there we go. Okay, so that's uh, just a general overview of the library. Uh, as I said, if you're familiar with Orchestra Tools setup or the capsule system, you have the mic positions, you can tweak it to death uh, with all the by the way, that might be where the setting was for. Can we move that? Hmm. I have no idea why this is not working. Maybe we can... 
Maybe that's a bug, because usually that should be time synced. But um, anyway, uh, I prepped a little bit yesterday evening and loaded up a little template. So this is pretty much the sounds of the library, but put into my template. And uh, this is now also has a bit of reverb going on, etc. So uh, what I want to do is kind of just work a little bit with a library. I just want to make sure that we delete everything that I did beforehand. Um, there's a bunch of other stuff in here. Let's delete all of that. Bam. Okay, we're clear. No, we're not. So, good. Back to time micro. So, what do we start with? I have no idea. There's just so much content in there. Um, maybe with a... Yeah, let's start with this one. That just sounds so gorgeous. Temple should be good. 76 maybe. What did I play? Antonio, how am I doing? I'm doing good. I hope you are as well. So before we jump into uh, the composing session and working with the library, uh, here is another hint for the giveaway today, Orchestral Tools kindly uh, provided a NFR copy of Time Micro. So if you leave a comment on that post, you are good to go to win a copy of that library. So this is the post. We have a bunch of com comments there already. And at the end of the stream, we will utilize the random comment picker here, you see the same URL, URL, 42 comments already. Damn, we don't even really started yet. You guys really want to have that, right? But I can understand that. It just sounds freaking beautiful. So back to topic. We wanted to record something with this beauty. So let's turn on the click and there we go. Let's start with this. Put this hard onto the grid. And maybe try some clockwork stuff. Too much already. Let's try this.
So don't worry about uh, being off time. Actually, I think I used an eighth note there. Uh, I just want to make sure how this uh, aligns to the grid when you hard quantize these. I mean, it's very slow. You can hear a bit of artifacts there. Maybe I pushed that up a little bit. So we have this. Mm, ba -ba 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 -ba. Uh, let's look at some of the brass stuff. Pendulum spot. Yeah, let's try this. What's your opinion in comparison with time macro? Well, um, a lot of concepts were taken from time macro. Uh, we can just play a few of the patches just in comparison. So it's bigger section sizes. different Actually, I want to record that on top from time macro Ah, <laughs> wrong chord. Sorry, once more. Save is your friend. Quantize and bring this guy down a little bit. And I want to add, we'll go back to time micro. I think I missed out. Yes, this actually belongs to time micro. Mm -hmm. ba -ba -ba update. So Tom Micro has this harp last mandolin patch, which is absolutely gorgeous.
I'm gonna lay this on top just for a little bit of movement. So again, this is, I mean, it's very soft in the background, but it adds so much movement. With these random movements. So, and what's next? Uh, I may lay down just a little bit of... better so a little bit of piano <laughs> sorry that should be there and I think where it really starts to shine is when you have like this this background and then you combine it with uh, some of the stuff for example from the Metropolis arc Four series where you have kind of the similar section sizes. This is gorgeous. And even the softer stuff from uh, Metropolis Arc 2 works great as well. Just beautiful. Let's see, uh, euphonium. What does that sound like? See that. I 
like that every stream you have a new template. Well, actually, I've just been working on this for the past couple of days because I wanted to bring in a lot of the new sounds that I acquired over the last year and wanted to change a bunch of stuff. So this is um, uh, pretty much orchestral tools and a little bit of audio period, a little bit of nucleus, uh, the LA modern percussion. So this is pretty cool. Uh, back to Time Micro, that is what we're talking about today. So I want to bring in some fluttery stuff from the woodwinds. Let's see what we can do. Last one was a little bit off. I mean, if you listen to this on a loan, it sounds a little bit off the grid and especially with a click. But if you combine that, Move the whole thing just a little bit to the to the left. Maxime, nice to have you around. Oh, we have the choir still, so let's see what we can do with these. Let's try. So freaking great. Especially these these um, string quartet sounds in the background. This is they're so great for layering. Can even do. Missing a little bit is the low end in the strings, so let's see if we can bring random vibrato. That is good, so let's put that underneath.
it's so much different than just using a regular sustain patch underneath when you have this kind of movement and still have it as playable. So just when you listen to that solo patch, to that patch solo. Then to the strings only. This is beautiful, and um, this combined with uh, the Metropolis Arc 4 power legatos. And even the normal legato. This is just so beautiful. Um, or, for example, the nucleus, if we want to combine this with some more of the modern sounds. Let's cut down the pretty lay. It's just freaking fun. Um, back to where we were. Even with the short strings from uh, Metropolis Arc, for example. Is there any percussion in micro? No, there is not. The only percussion, tonal percussion, is the uh, harp slash mandolin. But yeah, technically that's not percussion. There's no percussion at all. It just so uh, nevertheless what I want to do is uh, so this is now all is it all my template no that's only no it's yeah it's all so we can do a little of low stuff I mean, that's already too big.
What gig size is the library? It's 52 gigabytes installed. that patch. So without the click, a little bit of Already hearing how <laughs> it's, it's going further. softer not too much movement there Something along the line of that. The first one. Eighth notes, please. And that is sixteen. No. <laughs> Damn it. Fixing my bad playing here. So would it sound nice duplicating with a harp? Yeah, that's what I try or that's what I wanna do.
this the library strings? Uh, what do you mean? Yes, all the strings right now I think are that we used are from time micro. Let me verify. Strings are time micro and now I did the tremolo burst from time macro. section that is starting here yeah and we can just do a boom there Let's try the clockwork 16th. Um. Um, not sure if I can play that in. Uh, might need some editing later on. this. I don't think we can move this like 10 or 15 with a track delay to make it a little bit more on the beat. What's up? You said you will finish your track from the lamb stream. No, not from the lamb stream, from the nuclear stream. And I'm definitely going to finish that one. Uh, just not sure when. <laughs> but I will do uh, a follow-up stream to the nucleus uh, walkthrough. one I want to change to the 16th notes. That was nice. Hard quantize these guys. So let's listen to the strings on their own. Some more spice to that. What 
Okay, let's lay that on top. wheel needs to come in we need it like this yeah sounds better Uh, ba, 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 ba. What can we do with vocals? Or maybe... That is fun. That is really fun. This library is so extremely inspiring. And uh, I mean, listen to this. This is a kind of. It's just so much movement underneath. I'm smiling all the way. This is just fun. Let's put some fifth from the man underneath. Do the strings need time delay? Not necessarily. I just think that they sounded a little bit more on the grid with the 16th notes when I moved them a little bit to the left. But uh, they are aligned to the grid of the DAW, so I think it's just a question of personal taste and preference. So. Lay some oboes.
I mean, some people have asked me a lot of this stuff that I'm doing is totally improvised. It's just uh, playing along with the patches and see how it sounds like. It kind of works. It kind of sounds good in its own right. So, um, I had an idea when uh, the bass ensemble. Uh, I have to admit, this is sitting in the woodwinds here. It's technically it's woodwind and um, contrabass. I want to try to. little bit of movement there do that really soft help myself but it sounds pretty cool <laughs> uh, let's look what we have so far um, sorry this is what we did so far these a little bit further so I want to sew that whereas beforehand it was so it's like it's not much like 20 milliseconds or something two three four Sounds a little bit more aligned. But I feel I want to uh, kind of utilize some solo woodwind or something on top, which uh, unfortunately there is no legato instruments in um, micro. So. I am going to jump to some stuff from Metropolis Arc 4, uh, which is either, either the Pigolo. Something like that. Let's see how that sounds. Was a little bit too much. Let's 
simplify that a little bit. It was just played like, <laughs> well, not a good. Uh, so let's see if we can quantize this a little bit. And the cool thing is that because of the power legato feature from Middle of Arc 4, there's a little artifacts and, and stuff in the in the samples itself that hides a little bit of the imperfections. So let's see how that sounds together. I'm hearing some pizzicato strings in there, so I definitely want to do some pits, but uh, where to get these from? Um, I think the Metropolis Arc 2 are better suited for that. Pits. Uh, there is no pits here, so um, gonna head over to Nucleus for this. That sounds good. That sounds nice. That flute run is too much there. That doesn't sound nice.
Why do I have the feeling that there's a horn ringing in that? Because it is. Unintentionally, I combined. I combined. Horn and. But which horn? Oh, I see. So this is going to. Okay, so it was MIDI 9. Why is the nucleus trumpet playing? That's okay. Get, bear with me. Bear with me. Just need to find out something. Let me delete the trumpet here. Go back to uh, Metropolis. I mean, I wouldn't necessarily call this corporate music, but well, each of his own. Maybe it is. <laughs> I don't know. Just following whatever this day, wherever this takes me. So, um, let's finish this off, this little cue. I mean, that's very short there. Um, I give you that, but it doesn't matter. Let's see what we can find in Time Micro to bring this to a decent ending. Not the right patch. Um. That's better. Use this one. <laughs> I 
<laughs> already hear the choir. There's no, 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 or the mumbling. Let's see. That was very soft, but it doesn't matter. We do. Or maybe. No, not, no, no, no. Let's see how that sounds. Hiding the na 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 a little bit. Not enough movement in there. That's good. Low strings, definitely. Um Didn't like the volume curve here. 
So I think that should be good. Hmm. Save this and just show me all the used tracks on this one. So there we go. Most of it is time micro. So we used uh, one pizzicato from Nucleus and one tremolo burst here from time macro. And power legato solo here from Metropolis Arc 4 and a sub from Metropolis Arc 2. All the rest and the piano is different. But other than that, it's um, Mosul, let's say 80% is micro, time micro. Uh, that brings me to the point of reminding everyone of our giveaway, which is kind of happening soon. So if you leave a comment on this Facebook post, you will be one of the lucky guys that can win a free copy of Metropolis Time of Orchestra Tools Time Micro. Uh, 85 comments right now. So I give it another, say, like five minutes uh, before we draw the winner and all I can say is um, I am absolutely in love with this library this is just amazing and especially I mean I use a lot of micro only but even just a few of these patches if you layer them into your regular composition to breathe a little life into uh, your tracks. This is pure gold, honestly. And at 199 Enterprising, it's a steal. A woodwind could use a little more reverb. Yeah, that's not better. more the solo section. We finish the stream from nuclear stream here. I uh, know I won't do that today. There will be a dedicated stream either this week or beginning of next week. I'll let you know. Just wanted this little patch on top. And that's uh, time macro. But anyway, so yeah, what can I say? This library is an utter beauty, especially also, I mean, we didn't even use the uh, different patches that they have in the 
time orchestra these uh well i played a few of these in the beginning even layer that as a as a base underneath this section here it's a little bit heavy but you get the idea so you can that on top does it sound like funny enough you didn't even see what I was doing here <laughs> so. I love this patch when I was trying out the sounds yesterday. That's fun. Anyway, um, some flute could be nice, uh, maybe Metropolis Arc 2, where well, we have some, well, we have the Metropolis Arc 4 flute in there. And, I mean, just listen to, to the woodwinds in the section on their own. I have no idea what that sounds like. <laughs> Oh, there. I went out of range there. Don't even need this because of the power legato. Can just transition there. Just the, with the strings. Sorry. That was something off. What is happening? Something sounds off. Three, four. Okay, got it. This needs to be sitting at 63. Yeah, the offset of nucleus was wrong there. We could, um, let's open the Metropolis patches again. We could use a little bit of trumpet or something on top. Let's see. Um, 
No trumpet, no trumpet, no trumpet. Yeah, I think that sounds good. nice I like that especially the fact that it kind of does a harmony voice in the end that and therefore let's call it a day with this one um bring that all down so today's cue i present you time micro for the most part <laughs> oh before we jump into the final listening of this cue let's uh, look at the fact if someone has commented on the Facebook post so just to make sure so you know what we're talking about this is the URL of the post that where uh, where you have been leaving your comments Bum, 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 bunch of stuff, and uh, here we can check, paste that again. Right now we have 94 unique comments. That means one of you guys will win the library. And without further ado, let's jump straight in and pick a random winner now. Thanks, Orchestral Tools. Uh, one reminder again uh, on the YouTube video or underneath the YouTube video, you can see the uh, current intro pricing for the library. It's 199 euros. I'm leaving you the link in the chat as well. If you not win the library and feel you want to grab it, Honest opinion, this is the best 199 you can spend on a library in a while. Anyway, one of you guys will not have to invest 199, but can grab and snag a free copy. Three, two, one, here we go. Today's winner is. Ah, Brendan Varco. Brendan, if you are in the chat, congratulations. I get in touch with you on Facebook anyway, and we'll let you know how you can get hold of your copy of uh, Time Micro. Congratulations, and uh, thanks for being part of the stream today to everyone. This is the little cue we just did. I hope you enjoyed it and uh, check out more videos of the library. Alex Pfeffer did a great uh, walk through the orchestral tools video themselves are great if you wanna know more about the patches in detail. And uh, here is the little cue and see you next time. Thank you so much.